space, a place where less than a thousand people have ever gone, but it still fascinates billions of people. But then sometimes space decides to give us a reality check, more of a shock. Today we are going to talk about a similar incident involving astronaut Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmer and Boeing's troubled spacecraft, the Starliner. On June 5th this year, Sunita Williams, a space legend with two previous ISS missions under her belt, and Barry Wilmer, a seasoned astronaut himself, made their way to the International Space Station on Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. It was supposed to be a smooth ride, a week-long stay, then back to Earth. But then things didn't go quite as planned. The Starliner spacecraft successfully docked with the ISS, but then multiple thrusters malfunctioned. This is not the ideal situation when you are inside a spacecraft. And that's not all. Engineers have also detected helium leaks, which is a big problem when you're dealing with pressurized systems in space. I will tell you more about the helium leak in a while. As a result, Sunita and Barry are still in space, inside the ISS. As per the actual plan, these astronauts were supposed to spend a week in space, but now they are only a few days away from two months. Yet, NASA and Boeing say that even though ground tests have been completed, there is still no clear date for a flight home. That being said, NASA officials have previously said that the spacecraft has enough fuel to remain in orbit until mid-August. So what exactly is the issue? The main reason is that they are unable to come home because of a problem with their spaceship. It's like your car broke down and you couldn't fix it right away. Engineers have detected some leaks in the part of the spaceship that provides power. As a result, the parts that control the spaceship's movement aren't working perfectly. This is a helium leak. Helium gas plays a significant role in detecting problems in spacecraft. Helium is incredibly small atom, making it an excellent gas for finding leaks in sealed systems. Engineers can introduce helium into a system and use sensitive detectors to pinpoint where the gas is escaping. This is crucial for identifying leaks in fuel tanks, coolant lines, and other critical components. Helium is also used in pressurized components or systems. By monitoring the pressure changes, engineers can detect potential issues like blockages or structural weaknesses. And then some instruments on spacecraft requires precise calibration. Helium can be used to create a control environment for this process, ensuring accurate measurements. In the case of the Boeing Starliner, helium leaks were detected in the service module. If I have to explain in simple words, imagine a spacecraft has two areas. One is the part where the astronauts live and work. It is like the main living area. But there is another part of the house that has all the important stuff to keep the house running, like the water tank, the heater, and the electricity supply. This area is the service module. It is the part of the spaceship that has all the important systems to keep the astronauts alive and the spacecraft flying. Things like fuel tanks, oxygen supply, and the engines are all in there. This is where a leak has been detected. Engineers are working hard to figure out what is wrong and fix it so that they can safely come back. Now how will the engineers fix the leak from Earth? Or who will do it? Now fixing a helium leak in a spacecraft is a complex challenge, especially when it is in orbit. Engineers on Earth use data from the spacecraft to pinpoint the exact location of the leak. Once the leak is located, Engineers design a patch or seal to fix the problem. Now, I want you to remember this term patch. This is a highly specialized task as the patch must be able to withstand the extreme conditions of the space. It is important to know that not all repairs can be done in space. However, in the case of a helium leak, a patch is often the most feasible solution. Once the patch is designed, detailed instructions are created for the astronauts to install the patch. This includes step-by-step -step procedures, tools, and any necessary equipment. The instructions and necessary tools are uploaded to the spacecraft's computer system. The astronaut on the ISS will carry out the repair based on the received instructions. This is a delicate and risky operation that requires precision and skill. Once the spacecraft returns to the Earth, then further repairs can be done. Till then, astronauts need to do the repair. Now, what is this patch that is used to seal a leak in the spacecraft? The patch that is used to seal a leak in a spacecraft is not like a simple tape or seal you would use at home. It is a highly specialized material designed to withstand the extreme conditions of space. It is more like a strong, flexible adhesive combined with a material that can seal the leak effectively. Now, how will the astronauts apply this patch? Astronauts will have to use specialized tools and techniques. The entire detailed plan and instructions are created by the engineers on Earth and it will be communicated to the astronauts. 
This includes step-by-step -step procedures, tools and any necessary equipment. Astronauts will have to wear gloves with sticky pads to handle the patch without contaminating it. The patch might have a sticky backing or require a separate adhesive. The astronauts would carefully position the patch over the leak and press it firmly in space. It's a complex process that requires training and practice, which is given to the astronauts during their training. Now are these patches readily available in the spacecraft? How will the astronauts access it? Not all patches are readily available like a band-aid at your home in your first aid kit. Some patches might come pre-mixed and ready to use. In other cases, astronauts might need to mix two components to activate the adhesive. This is similar to epoxy glue you might use at home. And sometimes they may need to be resourceful and use whatever materials that are available on the spacecraft and combine them to create a suitable solution. These materials are usually stored in a specific compartment or container that is easily accessible in case of an emergency. Astronauts undergo rigorous training to locate and use these materials quickly and efficiently. That is why they undergo extensive training in chemistry, engineering and problem solving to handle such situations. Was NASA aware of this leak before the launch? A report says that NASA was aware of a helium leak before the launch, but they thought it's a small issue that would not pose a safety risk. However, once in orbit, the Starliner developed four additional helium leaks, making the thruster unusable. Now, if this sort of high-profile malfunctions are happening in NASA, then even the most advanced organizations are susceptible to failures. Now, you must have heard about congressional hearing of Boeing. So Boeing, the company behind the Starliner, had to sit in front of Congress to answer a few questions. In a recent congressional hearing, Boeing CEO David Calhoun faced tough questions about the Starliner's long list of issues. The delays have raised concerns about Boeing's ability to deliver on its promises and the safety of the astronauts involved. Lawmakers questioned Boeing's engineering processes, quality control and communication with NASA. The CEO has acknowledged the company's shortcomings and vowed to make necessary improvements. But the lack of a concrete return date for Sunita and Barry remains a major sticking point. Let me also tell you that this is not Boeing's first case of Starliner issues. Do you remember that uncrewed orbital flight test in 2019? It missed its target and never reached the ISS. Now if you look at the history of NASA tragedies, it's important to remember that space travel isn't always sunshine and rainbows. NASA has a history of tragic accidents. We cannot forget the Challenger disaster in 1986 and the more recent Columbia disaster of 2003. Those were dark days for the space community, losing incredible astronauts who dedicated their lives to exploration. Now speaking about incredible astronauts, we have to mention Kalpana Chawla, the first woman of Indian origin in space. Tragically, she was on board of the Columbia when it disintegrated during re-entry. Her loss was a huge blow to the space program and to the world. Now what is the human cost of delays? The indefinite delay in the Starliner's return is not just a technical issue, it's also a human one. Sunita and Barry are not just astronauts, they are mothers, fathers, partners and friends. Their families are anxiously awaiting their safe return. Astronauts are tough, but prolonged stays in space can take a toll on an astronaut's physical and mental health. Some health challenges in space include number 1. Bone loss. The lack of gravity accelerates bone density loss, similar to osteoporosis. Number 2. Muscle atrophy. Muscles weaken rapidly without the constant pull of gravity. Number 3. Visual impairments. Changes in intracranial pressure can affect eyesight. Number 4. Radiation exposure. Increased exposure to harmful radiation can lead to long-term health issues. And number 5. Psychological challenges. Isolation and confinement can affect mental health. And the uncertainty surrounding their return date only adds to their stress and anxiety. If you see, the clock is ticking fast for Barry and Sunita. Now what is next for Sunita and Barry? Since they are stuck up there orbiting Earth, while engineers on the ground are trying hard to figure out a safe way to bring them home, it is stressful for everyone involved. Boeing is working hard to fix the Starliner, but who knows how long that will take. There is even talk of using SpaceX's Dragon capsule as a backup plan. Now this whole situation is a reminder that space is a tough frontier. It's risky, it's expensive, and it doesn't always go according to plan. But then it is also important. Exploring space pushes the boundaries of what we know and what we are capable of. Let's hope Boeing and NASA can resolve the Starliner issues quickly and safely bring Sunita and Barry home. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.